Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome to your midday stretch. My name is Jenna, fitness coordinator in Bedford. Just as usual, find a spot that's comfortable for you. If you're at home or somewhere where you have a quiet spot, that works well. I have a mat here. You don't really need anything but yourself. We're gonna do a full body stretch with some breathing like we usually do at the beginning and the end. So make yourself comfortable. Um, if you wanna to listen to music, whatever makes you feel best during your midday stretch is what you'll do today. As always, we're going to start standing. All right, so I'm gonna have you stand. Just normally here, close your eyes. And I want you to just sit nice and quiet for a second. Just take in the surroundings around you, any sounds that you hear. Maybe you hear a dog barking, some birds chirping outside. From here, we're gonna move into our breath. So I want you to take a nice big inhale, fill up your lungs with air, and then exhale. And let it all go, let any stress, worry, anything that's bothering you, release it. We're gonna do that five times at your own pace. You can keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna begin mine now. I wanna hear you inhaling and exhaling. Nice job. A couple more here, take your time. Let's go for that last deep breath. Good, and you could open your eyes. Nice job. You're feeling nice and relaxed, ready to go. I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit here. We're gonna work through our head and neck muscles. So you're gonna come down with your chin, tuck your chin. Then you're gonna look all the way up towards the ceiling back through center, and now you're gonna go right ear to right shoulder, and left ear to left shoulder. So again, from center, tuck the chin, look down, all the way up towards the ceiling. From center, we bring it to the right, we bring it to the left. Take your time with this, let your weight, the weight of your head just kind of fall as you work down, and up, and then to the right, Work into that stretch and left hold as needed. Okay, let's do this three more times. Tuck the chin to the right, to the left. Nice job. This should feel good. We don't stretch our neck as much as possible, or at least I don't, so it feels good to kind of work through this your own pace and feel that stretch. Good, and we're gonna take it to a roll. So head will tuck it, shoulder, now all the way back, so kind of putting it all together. Again, just letting that weight of your head fall. Your posture can be just regular. You don't have to be upright. Just let it go. Okay, one more time clockwise. All right, now let's bring it counterclockwise. So all the way down, back to that other side. Nice work here. And back. Okay, let's bring those shoulders back. So we're working into those shoulders and upper back. Nice big circles. From here, let's take it on forward. Okay, so we're here. I'm doing a little bit of a shrug. I might look or feel silly, that's okay. Good. Continue working through those shoulders. I'm gonna stand to the side here. Both of my palms are together. All right, feet are together, narrow stance. I'm gonna bring my right arm to open. 
So externally out here. Now my arms are in line. Feel a stretch in the shoulder, the right shoulder or the arm that is opening up. And then scoop it back in, keeping it about shoulder height. All right, so open it nice and slow. If you can follow your hands with your eyes, hold for a second. Breathing and come back to center. Okay, we're opening up. Back to center. Here we are. We're doing one more on this side. Hold. Good, and bring it down. Good, shake up that shoulder. Let's move to the other side. Palms are together here. Again, opening up now with that left arm. If you can get those arms in line, one straight line, holding for as long as needed, and bring it back to the other hand. Open up. Good. Here we go. We've got two more. And then the last one, nice and wide. Good, and let it go. Nice job. Staying standing, working through the upper body still. Take a second here. If your shoulders are a little bit tired from holding them up, we're gonna work a little bit more into the back. So you're gonna start with your arms above head here, close to your ears, all right? You can have a slight bend in your knees for this. You're going to pull down, elbows facing the floor at about 90 degrees, and then bring it back up. Just working through that shoulder Mobility, maybe you're feeling this in your lats. Just opening up for 10. Get all the way above head, squeezing. Good. Getting things moving here in the upper body. Three. Two, all the way down, last one. Good. And let it go. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take a nice stretch over to one side. So right arm comes over to that left side, come over as far to the left as possible and holding. Good. Bring my other arm across, leaning over to the other side. one more time. Maybe you come out for a little bit further this time. Holding that stretch. Nice job. And last time, other side. Here we are. Nice work. All right, let's make our way to the ground in a few minutes for that. Arms above head, I want you to reach over and touch your toes if you can. If you cannot, as far as you can over is perfect. I most likely can't touch my toes fully, but I'm gonna extend my legs so my legs are straight right now. Try to keep your back nice and flat. In the end, we're just reaching down and holding. Continue to breathe here, don't hold your breath. Do the best you can. You should feel this in the back of those legs, all the way down maybe to your calves. Good, let's bring back up to stand. I'm gonna do this three more times for three times total. So let's come down again. This time reach a little bit further. Exhale. Nice job. All right, the last time. Let's see you come all the way as far over as possible. Maybe this time you reach, reach, reach for your toes and hold that stretch, beautiful. work. As we are on the standing position, let's work through our figure four. So sometimes we do this on the ground. We're going to do it standing. So start with one foot. The other foot is going to cross over, making that figure four. After that, push this knee out as much as possible. 
I'm bending my standing leg, okay, and I'm going to sit kind of back into that hip, reach for the floor, you can just kind of hold this stretch and push that knee out, we're going to hold it here, feeling this in the leg or the side that is up, all right, so this right leg here, stretch it out, Okay, let's come back up to standing, let's switch sides. Figure four, resting that foot on top. Sitting back, bending that standing leg and holding. Again, if you'd like to go further down or reach to the ground, you can do that, but if this is good for you, you're just gonna hold the stretch. You find that balance. You'll bring your arms out, or you can keep them in. Tailor this to you and your body. And maybe it gets a little lower here. Good. One more time each side. Let's start with the other leg once again. I'm here. Stretch it out. Oops. Find that balance and focus. All right. So last time with the other side. And push back, push that knee out. Really nice work here. All right, the legs are to move towards the floor, so we're gonna come into our downward dog. So hands are on the ground, feet are on the ground, you're pressing your butt towards the ceiling by pushing into your hands and pushing your heels into the ground. All right, so we're gonna hold this position here. Let's take some nice deep breaths. I'm gonna have you move into a plank position just for one second, stretching out those abdominal muscles, maybe into that back, and then you're gonna press back up into downward dog. You're gonna do that five times, so moving through, maybe you feel that in your shoulders as well. Taking some nice deep breaths as we move through this. Pressing those hips down. Nice job. Two more. And one last time. Coming into my nice plank here. Down. Good. From here, let's bring those knees down to the floor. Walk your hands in a little bit. Now I'm in my nice tabletop position. Let's close our eyes. Just take a second here. Listen to your breathing. I want you to inhale and exhale. Nice job. From here, working more into those shoulders. We're gonna open up one side at a time. So I have my right arm opening up to the right side, looking at my fingertips here, then threading it through underneath that left hand. And my right side of the body or the shoulder comes down to the floor and I hold this stretch. This hand here on the other side is kind of just supporting me. You can let your head fall to the floor and hold. back to center downward dog excuse me tabletop left hand open it up and thread it through good do one more time each side so I'm here, and I'm all the way back down. Back to center, opening up once more, and switching out that shoulder. forward here just so you can see the view from the front I'm on my knees here I'm gonna bring one foot out to the side all right so you can have that toe facing the ceiling if you'd like 
the other foot that you're kneeling on, you're going to sit back into that hip and then come all the way back up. So you're kind of sitting back and then coming back up to that kneeling position, working through that inner thigh. All right, so get that leg out as much as possible. Keep that toe and knee facing the ceiling. And I want you to sit back and then again, come forward. So you wanna think about getting your butt towards your heel as you sit back as far as possible. Let's do 10 on this side, then we'll switch to the other side. Just working through this nice and slow. Good. Again, keeping this leg stationary. We don't want any twisting of the knees. Working into that inner thigh of the leg that is out here. Good. If it's too much on the inner thigh, don't take it as far back. As much as you'd like, as deep of a stretch. Good. And we're switching the other side here. Now I'm kneeling to the right. Left foot is out to the side. Again, toe and kneecap facing at the ceiling. Here we go back with my hips, working now into that left leg. Nice job. Don't forget about your breathing. If you can hear yourself breathing, you're doing a good job. Nice work. All right, team, last two. Here we go. Good, we are back. All right, nice job. From here, let's take it to our pigeon pose, my favorite stretch. So bringing one foot in front now and sitting over that front hip, over that back toe, you can come all the way down to the ground and hold, feeling this in the glutes of the leg that is in front. All right, so that right leg for me. Nice job here, and we're holding. Okay, let's switch sides. I will never get sick of this stretch. It's my favorite one of all time. Maybe because my lower body is always tight, but let's hold this stretch now to the other side. Very nice job. All right, nice circle. One more time with each side. So I'm working through that right leg again. You can bring your hands flat to the ground as well. So now I'm bringing it a little bit further and stretching forward. I was here before and now I'm kind of reaching a little bit more. Feel that stretch. Good, coming back up here, other side, and reaching over. All right, let's make our way up. We're actually going to move on to something else. Let's do a butterfly stretch, so palms of your, excuse me, bottoms of your feet together in your butterfly, so letting your legs fall naturally where they fall, bringing that chest over those feet as much as you can. Again, this is gonna work through those hips and that inner thigh a little bit as well. So if it's too much pressure, just come up a little bit more and hold.
Okay, let's bring your arms up overhead. Now I want you to reach over to the ground in front of your feet and hold. I'm working through it a little bit further. Good, and last time, arms are all the way up. Bring it on over. Good. Put your feet flat on the ground. We are going to move our legs down towards the left. All right, so both my legs should be facing the same way, kneecaps working with each other to come towards the floor, back through center, and then working through the other side. So again, knees are going in the same direction, feet are coming off the ground, and we're just moving, working through our hips here again, side to side, getting that knee as close to the ground as possible. Nice job. Couple more on each side. Good. From here, let's lay down on your mat. We're going to start as we usually start with our breathing. So let everything fall your feet, your hands can be wherever. Close those eyes. Take a second here. Kind of focus, get in the zone. Eyes are closed, let's take a few breaths together. So nice big inhale and exhale, let it go. Let's move on to that next breath. Let it all go, nice work. Let's do one more together. Good. From here, right leg is going to come across my left side. I'm going to bring my right leg over by pulling with my left hand. Shoulders stay pressed into the ground. So I'm holding my foot and my leg here with that opposite hand. Feeling that stretch all down the side here of my leg. And hold. And then we're gonna move the other way. So my left leg comes over, grabbing it with my right hand. Shoulders stay pressed into the ground. Bring that leg over as far as possible. Nice job. One more time to that right side. And we'll wake our way back up to standing. And one more time. We'll all be over. back up here. So to stand up, we're going to come through tabletop, downward dog, and then walk it up to standing. So let's start in our tabletop. It's easiest to get up here, so just holding this position here. Take a nice deep breath. All right, let's press those toes into the ground. Let's get ready to walk it up. Take one last stretch here, so butt towards the ceiling and hold. Maybe you're feeling a little bit better than you were at the beginning. Maybe this movement feels a little bit easier to get into. That's great. All right, let's walk those hands into our feet so you can keep your feet where they are. All right, once they're here in the middle, walk those feet in, narrow stance. You're gonna roll it up nice and slow, bending those knees, lifting through 
your core one vertebrae at a time, film here, and you're going to bring your head up last, so working through those vertebrae, now your head come all the way up to standing, nice job at standing here, let's take both arms up, all right, switching all the way, think of through the ceiling, arms up as far as possible, good, and let it go. And then let's interlock those fingers behind our back, pulling down through our shoulder and opening up that chest to hold. Good, taking it further now, let's bend the knees and let those arms come forward, working a little bit more through that upper body. And let it go. All right, we're gonna start to work through our last breaths of the session. So let's stand just like you did at the beginning. Hands placement wherever, close your eyes. Take some breaths here. We're gonna do three big inhales and exhales together to end it off. So keep those eyes shut. Let me begin. Filling up those lungs with air. Nice big exhale. One more time. When you are ready, you can open those eyes. That concludes your midday stretch session this afternoon. I hope you're feeling a bit more relaxed stretched out. If you had any soreness, maybe it's alleviated some of that. I hope so. Thanks for joining me today. You have another chance tomorrow, Hardcore Express at 8.30 a.m. virtually, 15 minutes of core work. So if you'd like to join me there, I'll see you then. If not, have a great weekend and a great holiday weekend. Thank you.